got my Lorenzo's tomato pies, 1947. The original location right there. This is it. Robbinsville, New Jersey. Let's go eat. Super excited, guys. Super excited. Everybody's been telling me, Di Lorenzo's. Go to Di Lorenzo's. Go to Di Lorenzo's. And I'm like, what's up with this place, Di Lorenzo's, first and foremost? 1947, guys. It says it right there on the box. They've been here. They've been here a while. Family owned. Still family owned and operated. It's one of those places, guys. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm not wasting any time. I'm not wasting any time. That's how I like my pizza to look, baby. That's how I like it. But how will it taste? Looks aside, it looks pretty. When you see char along those edges like that, char around the entire perimeter. Got the half sausage. They said you got to get the sausage here. It's one of those places. The sausage. I see the pecorino, the grated cheese. Smells pretty good. Tomato pies. Um, it's cut in a really interesting manner. Look at the bottom of that, baby. A little bit of flop. I mean, it's the way they cut it. A little bit of flop. I mean, it's the way they cut it. You know, it's a big skinny rectangle. It's going to flop on you. Quite a bit of cheese on here. Chunky tomato. Chunks of tomato. Mm. Not a sausage, guys. Again, we only review the plane here, but I will talk about the sausage. I just had a bite. That sausage is probably the best I've had since Louis and Ernie's in the Bronx. The best I've had since Louis and Ernie's in the Bronx. So fresh, so tender. You taste that fennel. You taste the fennel in the sausage. And look at those tomatoes. All right, guys, let's move right on in and analyze this fantastic pizza pie right here before our eyes guys what's the name of this pizza di lorenzo's tomato pies so we're going to start with that sauce guys let's dive right into that delicious pulpy fruity wonderful tomato sauce it's just not even sauce guys it, it to be honest it's you can't really consider this a sauce. Sauce is typically something that's simmered and that's liquidy. This is just crushed tomato. Quality crushed tomato. Not San Marzano. I've watched a few videos on this uh, on uh, about this pizza. A most uh, likely uh, tomato from California because uh, the taste was off the charts completely off the charts i mean nothing sour about these tomatoes at all now you might have an issue with these tomatoes because uh it's not a sauce it's not like the farro that's spiced and garlic spiked this is a rustic pizza tomato and that's it the cheese is a low moisture mozzarella not fresh but really good quality really good quality as a matter of fact you'll never see anything drip off this thing even the pie with the sausage even the pieces with the sausage on them that are a little greasier and guys come on we got to talk about this crust we got to talk about this crust i ordered this well done when you order online which is what i did you have an option to order it on uh the well done side now uh i'll be perfectly honest i, I wanted to try this piece here but uh, i think this part was a little too well done now look i'm not i'm not gonna dock any points because of that because i ordered it well done uh but i'll just say right now if you come to di lorenzo's order it is order this pizza the way they make it you know don't don't say well done because there are going to be parts of it that are you know i mean this is a little too much i think however most of the pizza is done just the way i like it look at that beautiful leopard skin nice speckling going on because this is how i like it just like that but you may come across a slice 
you know, that might have a little more char than you uh, you prefer. But the, look, that's a minor gripe. I'm not going to dock points because of that. I ordered it well done. And uh, this is not how they make the pie. Man, I got to go back to that sauce. <laughs> look at these wonderful tomatoes. Now, the crust was crispy as hell, uh, but towards the back, it's not pliable. It cracks as you fold it. You see that? As you, It cracks. It's not pliable. Maybe because I ordered it well done. I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I don't think that's the case. I think this is a pizza crust that's just uh, in the back. Uh, it, it's just not pliable in the back. And uh, I like it a little more pliable like the Farah. I like it a little more pliable like the Farah. And uh, uh, it, it's it's not, but uh, it's it's only, but that's only towards the back. Much of this pizza is very pliable. It's not like tavern pizza, you know, where it cracks every time you bend it. It's very much a very pliable pizza, very much a pliable pizza. Wonderful crust and uh, very airy too. Though it's so thin, uh, it's probably very difficult to come across air pockets because it's extremely thin. Pizza gets cold, we give it another fold. Though this is the type of pizza that's not foldable. And it's not exactly knife and fork pizza either because it's just too crispy to cut with a knife. It's too crispy. Look at that. Look how it's holding up. Oh man, this is really good, good dough. Uh, definitely an overnight dough. It wouldn't surprise me if this is a 24 hour dough. It's just so light. Italians talk with their hands. This is actually like sign language. People think Italians, they, you know, they're just ex very, they're just very hyper people, and, you know, neurotic people. No, they do talk with their hands. This actually means I'm living it up. <laughs> it's like sign language. Guys, this pizza is disappearing fast. All right, here we go. Here we go. What are we rating this thing? Since 1947, it's an 8.7. 8.7. Short of the 9. Just short of the 9. Again, my humblest opinion. Um, based on pies that I've eaten before me. Comparing it to some of my favorites. Um, 8.7, guys. Some of the best margarita-style raw sauce I've ever had. Not simmered. Raw sauce. Freaking delicious. They're so good. You're going to need a toothpick after eating these pizzas because... You gotta pick the tomato skin off your from between your teeth, man. That's how fresh these tomatoes are. Beautiful town, beautiful pizza, lots of delicious restaurants, Italian specialty stores, which I'm gonna go walk into right now. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yes, at 8.7 for Lorenzo's Tomato Pies. Uh, Instagram man, come and follow me. Link is included in the description section of the video. And uh, remember to like, share, and hit that bell. It would help me out, guys. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, keep your bellies full. This is Antonio, signing off.